Welcome to video six in and our final video in the countdown to 2022 series. It is now 2022, so welcome to the future. Welcome to yourself. I am Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com, and I'm so grateful to you for being part of my video series as we have looked at uh, what is where we are in the bigger picture of astrological cycles, what is changing, what is breaking down, what the future could look like, and what to expect as we head into 2022. We've had already five videos in this series, plus a bonus video. So actually, we've had six videos, and each one has focused on a particular topic related to the bigger picture picture of the astrological energies. So we talked about uh, Pluto and Pluto being in Capricorn, what, it, what it's going to look like as Pluto moves through the final degrees of Capricorn, getting ready to ingress or go into Aquarius in 2023 and 24. What does it look like to have one more year as we sort of complete this Capricorn energy for Pluto? I uh, went in depth on that in video two. Uh, in video three, we talked about the Saturn Uranus square and how it was such a big deal for us uh, throughout 2021 and how that was creating pressure and also some uh, some differences of the way that we, we respond and uh, creating some differences in perspective and how you can work with that energy, how it's pressuring us to align with our true selves, to find that center of self-trust and self-reliance where we need to respond and where we need to step up and find a backbone to do what we need to do to participate in the healing of the world and the world becoming uh, the better place that it is possible to become. Uh, and then in video four, I went in depth into the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction that's coming up in 2022 and, uh, and how that is uh, giving us a, the potential for uh, confusion, delusion, more misinformation, more confusion about what truth is and what what, what's true and what's a lie. Um, but also an ability to expand into possibility to imagine a bigger and better future to uh, allow our hearts to expand and to step into this bigger picture of um, a more caring and compassionate future. So, uh, and then we had a bonus video with uh, me and Sherry Horn Hassan, my good friend who's also an evolutionary astrologer, where we looked at the, um, the election day eclipse that's coming in November of 2022 and some other uh, astrological signifiers for what uh, the politics in the United States are going to look like and what that means for us and how we can respond to it. Really, really um, fun and juicy conversation that I had with my friend. Uh, Sherry. Um, so that was awesome. And then on New Year's Day, we had a guided meditation, setting intentions for the coming year. And uh, we really looked at uh, what your evolutionary medicine is, what that particular part of your chart is that shows you how to be a change maker and how to step into your highest potential, which I just love. So um, really, really uh, potent information here that I've been sharing with you. And today we are here to talk about how to manifest your intentions in 2022. So we had a Capricorn new moon um, the day after New Year's Day. So on January 2nd, there was a Capricorn new moon inviting us to set our intentions for the coming year and for the future and for the moon cycle. So I shared with you, again, I shared with you how to find your lunar nodes. That is your evolutionary medicine, how to understand what some of the patterns are that may hold you back from your karmic past and what that looks like, how to understand what it is so that you can use that information to become more aware about yourself 
and make choices that allow you to step into all you're capable of. So we had, um, we've got now those lunar nodes, which if you missed that, go back and watch that video five from uh, January 1st. And what we're gonna talk about today is how to work with that uh, energy, that information of your evolutionary medicine, your intentions for the year, thinking big, dreaming big. And as you've probably noticed, and we've been talking about, 2022 is inviting us to step up our game. It really is a, a calling upon us to be our best selves, to step into all that we are capable of, and to uh, get focused on who we are. <laughs> how are you doing your healing work? And how are you bringing that healing work um, out into the world and sharing it in more outward ways uh, that helps to spread that energy of healing and uh, possibility? How are you getting involved? Um, for some of us, you know, maybe uh, stepping into some activism and maybe getting involved politically. Uh, for others of us, it's going to be about how we um, work on our relationships in our workplace <laughs> or what the creative work is that we're doing that allows us to share ideas and cultivate new possibilities through uh, exchanging ideas with other people and uh, collaborating and partnerships. So. Um, so whatever that is for you, that is calling you, that is asking you um, to participate, to be engaged, to be a force for positivity and healing in the world, to, uh, to not waste your energy on the naysayers, on the uh, people who want to intimidate you or bully you. Don't waste your energy on that. It's not it doesn't need to distract you. You, as long as you keep moving forward and keep stepping into um, what it feels right for you, for your next step and for your healing path, then that's all you need to do. So keep moving forward. Um, so keep speaking your truth. Don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't, <laughs> especially on social media. Social media is like this platform that's designed just to, to where we can express all the, the most hateful thoughts or um, diminishing thoughts that we normally like, you know, if you had an advertisement or an article in a magazine or you watch a TV show, we could just, you know, kind of bad mouth it all we wanted in the privacy of our homes or, or with our spouses or families, but we didn't bad mouth it or bash it to the people who are putting it out there because we couldn't do that. But with social media, we can. And so all of those, um, uh, you know, somebody else doesn't like you stepping into your truth because it really highlights the fact that uh, they don't like their, you know, their life or they, they have fears or whatever's coming up for them. And so it's easier for them to take you down than for them to confront whatever it is that is coming up for them and looking at how to heal that. So again, it's just social media. It's just, don't, don't give it any attention or um, any of your time. Keep moving forward. Look for where the support is. When you see um, people responding in a positive way, people saying, hey, that's awesome, I love that, that sounds great, that, those are the messages that you wanna listen to because that's supporting your truth, right? It's, it's, um, it's your choice what energies you let into your space. So in order to continue this work, to work with your intentions for 2022, to follow this path of embodying your soul's highest potential. Um, one of the things that you can do that's so easy to work with is moon cycles. And as I mentioned last time, I have a program where um, I have, it's a group uh, where people can come together and get support in working with these moon cycles. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But, um, but basically, in a nutshell, what it is, is uh, as simple as setting your intentions on the new moon, and then observing 
what is revealed to you on the full moon. So it is a process, an ongoing process of setting intentions, planting seeds, seeing what is revealed to you, and then coming back to the next new moon where you can set your intentions again. And you might have learned something. You might, uh, your, your intentions might have changed a little bit. Maybe, maybe your intentions don't have the same feeling or meaning that they did last month. Maybe it's changed that much that within a month, you're going to say, ah, those intentions um, aren't meaningful to me anymore. I'm going to set some new intentions. Um, maybe you're going to set exactly the same intention that you did last month because you're still working on it and it still resonates and it still feels truthful and powerful for you. So intention, what is an intention, right? An intention is something that you want, something that you would like to align with. You would like to have, you would like to feel, you would like to discover, you would like it, you would like to become. Um, and the intention is something that you are becoming. So it could be like, um, you know, my intention is to uh, be in a relationship. My intention is to have a new house. My intention is to finish a project. Um, my intention is to work on my body and my health. My intention is to have more exercise. My intent, you know, um, whatever, whatever it's feeling like to you, the intention is a starting place. So it doesn't have to be, you're not locked into it. You're not committed to fulfilling that particular intention. What you're doing is you're saying, I'm aligning myself with this thing that I want, because that is the path that is going to teach me the most about how to be me. And so that desire is there because there is something calling you. And so for instance, you want a new house. What, that is calling you to learn something. It is calling you to walk a particular path, to discover things along a particular journey. Um, you might have a new house in a month. You might not have a new house in a month. You might not have a new house in six months or a year. With intentions, there is no failure because you are always in the present moment. So with an intention, you get to say, my intention is to have a new house. Do I have a new house yet? Not yet. Nope. Nope. But this is what I learned last month. These are the actions I took. This is what I learned. Um, this is who I talked to. This is where I'm going next. And you can always come back to your intention and say, yep, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I am aligning with this desire that I have. Um, now, sometimes that can be more of a feeling of desperation, right? If you're homeless and you need a house, that's, you know, so you, you, might, uh, you might have to um, adapt or be flexible in your choices. You know, what is it going to be for now? What, how can I step into something that's better for me right now, even if it's not my ideal? How can um, I have something that meets my needs, 10% of my needs, maybe not 100% of my needs, but I'm taking that baby step that goes in the direction of me having everything I want. And that it's, it's moving in that direction that is our healing and our progress and our process. Um, because when you're doing that, what you're doing is you're building your own self-reliance. You're building trust in yourself. You're, you're building trust in your ability to make choices that are good for you. So who did you talk to? What did you learn? Um, how, what, where are you at now? What steps are there to take next? That's how you work with intentions. You state them and you restate them and you state them again. And anytime you get worried or overwhelmed or think, oh my God, you know, I thought that I would have this by now and I don't, you take a deep breath and you go, my intention is to have a house 
and I'm going to align with that desire and I'm going to open to a willingness to discover where this path leads me and what I can find along the way. So um, uh, that's, that's really what it is. And I'm not saying you won't have a house. Maybe you'll have a house within a week. That happens sometimes. Um, but I'm just saying that you're not a failure if you don't. So that's the beauty of working with intentions is that it, it supports you to be you. It supports you to become more whole. It supports you to learn about yourself. So identify your intentions on the new moon. When there is a new moon within uh, two days before to two days after the new moon. So we have about a five day window where those new moon energies are most active. Um, if you can uh, take some time out for yourself sometime or in those that five day window and get quiet, take a deep breath and either journal or tune in with yourself and let go of <clears throat> clear your thoughts out and make room for um, your own awareness about what your intentions really are, what, what that uh, resonates as true for you and what feels powerful. What feels powerful, maybe it might feel a little bit scary because it is asking more of yourself, but you're building that trust in yourself and um, it is something that gets built slowly over time. So you don't have to get to the top of the mountain overnight. You have to start at the bottom and take one step at a time and that's how it works. So if you can do that throughout this year, set your intentions and reset them and come back to them, it's going to um, help you, support you in becoming more whole, becoming more powerful. And by powerful, I mean more able to generate results, more able to make a difference in a world that needs you to make a difference in it. <laughs> so if you have some concerns about, um, you know, some of the things that Sherry and I talked about uh, in our bonus video about what's happening in the world and, and what, could, what is going wrong, what could go wrong, there's a lot, right? So um, how, can you, how can you get involved in making a difference? What does that look like for you in 2022? Um, and so again, uh, with each new moon, setting an intention and then supporting yourself to take the steps to fulfill that intention. So whether it is for you um, uh, getting involved, uh, volunteering, uh, writing letters, contacting your politicians, running for office, um, getting involved in your community, helping people out, uh, getting involved in something that is, uh, you know, an organization that's trying to make a difference, planting trees or whatever. Um, you know, there's so many, so many ways that uh, people are thinking outside the box and doing new things and finding solutions. So get involved. Um, check it out. Get off social media because <laughs> that's where the naysayers are and go find the place where people are making a difference and get involved there. So. Um, so I want to invite you to, to join me for some deeper support this year. And uh, what I'm doing is uh, we have a group called Lunar Expedition. I've actually been doing this since um, 2012. And um, we're working with moon cycles. And so it's a super affordable monthly program that just gives you the support to stay on track with your intentions. It gives you regular reminders of what the energies are and how to bring yourself back to the positive possibilities. Because the more you align yourself with positive possibilities, the more, again, you are supporting yourself to step into your own highest potential, to step into your wholeness, your power, um, your ability to make a difference. So uh, in this program, Lunar Expedition, um, which is part of manifesting with moon cycles, we're manifesting with each moon cycle, the results and the outcomes that we want. <clears throat> Sometimes the results that we want are um, we didn't even know we wanted them, right? Things can unfold and happen and pop into reality that uh, 
we couldn't have even imagined. And that's how this works. It's like when you work with your own intentions, when you uh, work with your your thoughts and beliefs and shifting them uh, slowly over time from thoughts and beliefs that get in your way, uh, from having people in your life that don't support you to replacing all of these with things that do support your highest good, then you are creating the conditions where synchronicities can appear that, and by synchronicities, I just mean something happens. So, um, you know, you get a job offer, you get a phone call, um, some, some money appears or an opportunity appears or the right people show up when before, you know, you felt alone. So that's how synchronicity works is, is you are aligning yourself with the positive energies of the universe. And those positive energies can give you this pathway that you didn't see before. Um, and, and it's synchronicity because it's a meaningful coincidence. So those synchronicities are the things that give wonder and awe and joy and love into our lives. So that's what we wanna create. And the way that we create it is through working with moon cycles and setting our intentions. And in this group, you get support for setting your intentions. We're going to have a theme that we work with every month that is related to the current moon cycle. So this month's theme is foundations and getting organized. And so we're talking about in our group already, we're talking about uh, what, what our intentions are, how to get those intentions uh, into a plan, into a structure, how to make sure that that structure is flexible so you can learn and adapt and grow as you learn new things and um, put, your, put your plan into action, um, all making it doable, super doable, super fun, super supportive. And uh, so there's no, again, there, you know, we're getting completely away from judgment, shame, blame, all those things, failure. We're stepping into, this is how you support yourself to create the things you want. So um, Lunar Expedition is available for $39 a month. I would love to have you join us. Um, what you get when you join us is a um, guided meditation for every new moon and every full moon. If you choose to listen to those, some people really love them and find them wonderful. Other people don't have time for the meditations and that's totally fine too, because as long as you are setting your intentions, you are still working with the moon cycle and you have that meditation there. So if you have a particular month where you, you feel lost or you need some extra support, you always have that meditation there. And it's like, it's kind of like having your own personal energy healing session. You just listen to this 30 minute guided meditation that I've been recording over the years and it supports you to connect to your higher wisdom. It supports you to open your mind and your heart to possibilities you haven't considered before. It reaffirms all the positive qualities that you already have and reminds you of, of what your own um, you know, strengths are. So those um, guided meditations, really powerful and they go in very deep on a vibrational level, super, super supportive and positive. And that's what we like, right? We need more positivity. So we've got um, guided meditations, each new and full moon uh, in the group. I uh, create a weekly video forecast for members that uh, they, get to, they get access to uh, every week. Um, it's usually about 20 or 30 minutes. And, uh, and that forecast gives them a heads up for what the energies are this week, what might happen, how to work with it. Um, and also this year, we're gonna be doing more focus on our theme for each month. So, um, so the theme for this month, again, is Capricorn and foundations and getting organized. So that's gonna be our theme as we talk about different ways to get organized and work with how to create your intentions and how, as we go through you know, the moon changing signs every couple of days, how does that relate to your intentions? How does it support you? 
And how can you use the information of your own lunar nodes to support you in uh, continuing to learn and grow and move forward on this path of manifestation? So you get the weekly forecast, you get the guided meditations, you get a monthly written overview of the month, kind of what are the bigger picture energies, what's happening this month, what does it look like, what can you expect? And also each month with that overview comes a, a personal healing exercise. So a, a little suggestion of some journal prompts or how to work with the energies this month. And so every month is different and every month I come up with a new exercise and how to align with the energies of change and, and healing and evolution that are present. And, you know, this month, this year's uh, energies are different than last year's, which are different than 2020. So each year and each month, um, we bring in the qualities of what's coming up at that particular time and how to align yourself uh, with what the universe is, how the universe is, is evolving and inviting you to grow and change. Um, so that you can be part of growing and changing and creating a, a better planet and a better future for all beings. That's, um, that's really the goal. That's what we're doing. Through you doing your own healing work, you are supporting the planet to become a better place for all human beings. And uh, it needs us to do this work. It, we are being called and how we respond matters. So I hope you will consider joining me. Um, Lunar Expedition, again, is $39 a month. That's a special offer available right now. Just go to manifestingwithmooncycles.com forward slash 2022 dash special. So 2022 dash special. Um, I'll be sure and put that link in the comments as well. And uh, what else? Um, Lunar Expedition also includes an online forum uh, where you get regular reminders of what the moon sign is in. So, so when I talk about moon sign, we have the moon, the sign that the new moon is in each month, right? So the new moon is in a sign and then the next month, there's another new moon and that's in a different sign. And there's a progression of the new moons through the signs that um, also mirrors our own process as we work through the different themes that I mentioned each month. So like this month is um, foundations and organizing. Next month will be vision and inspiration. So each month is gonna have its own theme. And as we go through the different signs, but also the moon changes signs just like the sun does, but the moon moves more quickly. So it changes signs every two to two and a half days. By the way, you were born with a particular moon sign. So if you don't know your moon sign, that would be interesting to find out sometime. Um, and the uh, sign that the moon is in at any given time kind of tells us the mood of the day. So I've got a moon planning calendar that you can look at. And in the group, Lunar Expedition, you get a little post every time the moon moves into a new sign that just lets you know, hey, you know, the moon went into Leo today, the moon went into Virgo today, here's what that means, here's how to align with the positive qualities that that brings us. And um, again, you know, when you're choosing to align with positive qualities, it means that you don't have to get taken down by the negative ones. So um, super, super supportive and helps you be here to support the world being a better place, which is what it's all about. So you get those moon sign reminders. You can get, you can even put your own personal intentions in, uh, you submit them on a private confidential form. And then when you get your email from me, it reminds you of your intentions and it's, it's confidential. It only goes to you, but it reminds, you know, here's the intentions that you said, here's just a reminder that this is what you're currently working on, whether you're thinking about it right now or not. So it's there and it's happening and you've put this intention in motion. So it reminds you, uh, keeps you reminded of that. And, uh, uh, lunar, so it's manifesting with moon cycles.com forward slash 2022 special 2022 special 
S P E C I A L. <laughs> For those of you who need the spelling. Right on. Well, uh, I hope that I'll see you there. And, uh, at, you know, oh, the other thing that you get if you become a Lunar Expedition member is a discounted rate on a special member rate on my um, private sessions. So if you if that's something that you want to do is work with me working on your own individual chart, you um, you get some special member pricing for those one on one sessions. So that's another member benefit. Um, there, there's just tons of, you know, just immeasurable, uh, wonderful things that you get. So I would support you to check it out. You can join now. You can cancel if at any time, you know, doesn't feel right for you. Just try it for a month and then you don't have to keep going if it's not right for you. But I hope you will check it out. I hope you will join me and I hope you will um, choose this support for keeping you on track with your intentions and for aligning with the positive qualities that are always available to us that we can interpret through the astrological cycles and energies that are happening around us all the time. All right, thank you so much for joining me for this video series. It's been super, super fun. And I'm sorry to see it come to a close, but uh, hopefully we'll get to continue uh, working together through Lunar Expedition. And uh, bye for now. Once again, that is manifesting with mooncycles.com forward slash 2022 dash special. All right, take care. Bye-bye.